Kerry fails to sway European skeptics in Syria strike, Bloomberg. Bloomberg.com. Businessweek.com. Bloomberg TV. Premium. Professional products. Bloomberg Anywhere. Bloomberg Tradabook. Industry products. Bloomberg Briefs. Bloomberg Government. Bloomberg Law. Bloomberg Net. Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Bloomberg Sports. Enterprise Products. Compliance Solutions. Data Solutions. Technology Solutions. Trading Solutions. This site uses cookies. By continuing to browse the site you are agreeing to our use of cookies. X. Market Snapshot. US. Europe. Asia. Ticker Volume Price Price Delta. GF 14,922.50 minus 14.98 minus 0.10%. S&P 501,655.17 plus 0.090.01%. NASDAQ 3,660.01 plus 1.230.03%. Ticker Volume Price Price Delta. Stocks 50 to 1,800.3.40 to plus 29.20 to 1.05%. So 106,547.43 plus 14.89.0.23%. Nikkei 13,860.80 minus 204.01 minus 1.45%. Hang Sen 22,621.20 plus 23.250.10%. S&P slash asks 205,144.99 plus 2.480.05%. Bloomberg. Our company. Professional. Anywhere. Home. Quick. News. Opinion. Market data. Personal finance. Tech. Politics. Sustainability. Luxury. TV. Video. Radio. Abbott's coalition wins Australia election as Labour's rugged exits. 132. Hands on with the Samsung Galaxy Gear. NFL 10 year worst to first streak seen extended by Saints. Obama plans serious speech amid resistance. Goldberg, White House finds worse Syria argument. To 46. What to expect from Apple's event next week? Kerry fails to sway European skeptics in Syria strike. By James G. Muger Nicole Gaolet, 2013097T 13 hours 43 minutes and 30 seconds e. Secretary of State John Kerry failed to sway his European counterparts in the urgency of the U.S.-led military strike to halt the use of chemical weapons in Syria's more than two-year civil war. France, the principal U.S. ally in a possible assault, slowed its march to a confrontation by backing a European Union appeal to put off an armed response until the United Nations delivers a report in last month's use of chemical agents in a massacre near Damascus. The U underscores at the same time the need to move forward with addressing the Syrian crisis through the UN process, the 28 nation bloc's foreign policy chief Catherine Ashton told reporters after a U foreign ministers met Kerry in Vilnius, Lithuania. U.S. setbacks in securing international backing for targeted strikes on Syria's war-making capability were matched by President Barack Obama's trouble at home in persuading Congress to authorize an American intervention. Kerry thanked the U for a strong statement about the need for accountability, then left Vilnius for Paris to meet French leaders tonight and Arab League foreign ministers tomorrow. Kerry then goes to London to consult British and Saudi officials, and to meet Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. Obama Address Obama will make his case to voters on September 10th. In a preview of that speech, he said in his weekly radio address today that the failure to punish Syria's chemical weapons use would embolden terrorists and rogue states and pose a serious threat to our national security.